Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Black Mid Wukong. We're going to start by optimizing Windows. After that, we're going to go to NVIDIA Parameter. And after that, we will go inside of the game. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing Settings. And we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is game bar. This one I really recommend to deactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X3D or the 7950X3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processors. If you have any other processor, just deactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again. Capture, capture. Make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode honestly is really, really good. Back then with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power uh back then uh, we were recommending to use the best performance but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that Another thing I want to mention is some recommendations. So make sure that your uh, XMP profile is activated if you have it on your BIOS, super important. Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your CPU if you have an AMD or Intel. Also make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest update from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um overlay so nvidia overlay i really recommend to deactivate this one sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering you're losing some fps with it so i really recommend to deactivate it also we're gonna go to the control panel i'm gonna show you some optimization that you can do so we're gonna go to the manage 3d setting first so the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode make sure this one is at on Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's four gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're going to struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also, you can change it on Windows or your Radian driver if you have a Radian car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. So now inside of the game, we're going to start by display. So make sure that you have your proper display over there. Display mode, you just have two modes. I recommend to go with borderless. Aspect ratio, I'm just using automatic. 
Uh, if you have some issue, you can maybe choose it manually. If you have like a 21 by 9, for example. This per resolution, I really recommend to go with your native resolution. So in my case, it's 1440p. Don't lower your resolution over there. We will have other uh, options like upscaling technique later in the video. Frame cap, I just unlock my FPS without any V-Sync to have the lowest input lag. If you're struggling with your thermal, don't go too crazy with the frame rate. So maybe lock it with the amount of Hertz that you have on your monitor. Also, if you have some issue with your frame generation, you're getting random 30 FPS or like crazy stuttering, uh, activate your V-Sync. They, uh, they said that in their, um, in their launch guide. So if you have this issue, activate it with your frame generation. Camera and motion uh, effect, I recommend to go with off. You don't want any motion blur when you're playing the game. You just want pure visibility. And pretty much with the same thing with camera shake, too much noise when you're moving, everything is moving. So I recommend to go with zero. After that, let's go to the settings. So we're starting straight up with the super resolution sampling. So you don't have any preset in this um, in this um, super resolution slider. So you don't have like quality balance and stuff like that. But normally 75 is quality. And this is pretty much what I recommend with DLSS or FSR3. So my recommendation, if you have an RTX card, for sure run uh, DLSS. And also use the frame generation if it's available, if you have a 4000 series. If you have an AMD car, Radian, I recommend to go with FSR at 75 again. It's pretty much the same thing. It's the quality uh, preset from FSR. And also you can use frame generation. It's available. Also, if you have an RTX card like 2000 series, 3000 series, and you're really struggling with your FPS and you want to use frame generation, you can do that with FSR uh, uh, at on. So don't use DLSS, but it really depends. I'm going to give you the best parameter, but if you're struggling with the FPS, it really depends what type of computer that you have, what type of GPU and uh, CPU. So I'm going to go back to DLSS over there, frame gen at on, full ray tracing. Make sure that this one is at off. You're going to tank your FPS like crazy. Crazy. View distance quality, I recommend to go with medium. It's a good balance, honestly, in this game. Uh, don't go too crazy with this one. It tanks your FPS a lot. So my recommendation is go with medium. Anti-aliasing, if you're using DLSS or FSR, you're not going to use it. But for me, it's low or medium. After that, the game it looks very too blurry and you're going to lose too much FPS. Pulse effect quality, I recommend to go with low. It's too blurry again when you go too crazy with this one and you're going to gain a nice 6% boost in your FPS. Too much depth of field, too much bloom. So that's why I go with low. Shadow quality is pretty much the parameter that will provide you the most of your FPS. So if you compare cinematic to low, you can expect 20% boost. So this one straight up go with low. You're going to gain a lot of FPS. Texture quality, is ju it just depends on the amount of VRAM that you have on your GPU. So if you have 10 gig and more, go cinematic. 8 gig, very high. 6 gig, high. Medium at 4 gig. And less than 4 gig, go with low. Visual effect quality, this one I recommend to go with medium. It's a good compromise. It's like 2% different between low and medium. But after that, at high, you're going to lose 3% for each bracket. So uh, honestly, medium is a good uh, balance. Air quality, honestly... Not a huge difference in your FPS, like low to medium, 1%, medium to high, another 1%. After that, at very high, you're going to lose 2% for each bracket. So my recommendation is go with high. Vegetation quality, uh, the level of detail. So uh, honestly, you can probably run medium if you're running DLSS and stuff like that. By the way, DLSS, it pro at quality, it provides like 12% boost. And FSR, you're going to gain 10% boost. And uh, yeah, after that... At I, you're going to lose 2 to 3% over there, another 3%, and another 3% at cinematic. So my recommendation is something between medium and I, depending on your FPS. Global illumination quality, this is pretty much a second parameter that will provide you the most of your FPS with shadow quality. If you compare cinematic to low, you can expect 15% boost. So this one straight up, go with low. And reflection quality, I recommend to go with low. It's it, it doesn't add like too much visual quality, honestly, with, when you're running re reflection and you will see that you're going to have some crazy drop with it. So I really recommend to run this one at low and it doesn't affect too much your image quality. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my uh, Black Mid Wukong guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. Then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.